How can you see what you're shooting at in the dark? Watch my eyes. How'd you do that? I do not do it. It is not done. What do you mean it's not done? It is only experienced. It happens. It happens? Hole. The arrow. The bolt. Well, all one. Not many things. Not different things. I see it. I sure don't understand it. It's good, Martin. Why is it good? It remains a puzzle. When you cease to strive to understand, then you will know without understanding. Now, welcome to this uh, video today, which is all about simple harmonic trading method for profits. Now, when I say the word harmonic, I'm not using it in the context that most people are using it today in terms of forex trading, i.e., yeah, market structure using Gartley patterns, Fibonacci, etc., predicting the market. I'm using it in the context of how a guy described, described sorry, his trading strategy in the book Market Wizards to Jack Schwager. And the guy made several hundred million dollars with this method and it, you know, it was incredibly simple. When I read the interview, I actually you know, changed my view of the way I looked at Forex markets and my analysis and so forth. And I'm gonna to come to his strategy, method and outlook on the markets in a moment. And to lead into that, I'm just gonna go back to that intro clip because that intro clip, which is from the classic TV series, Come Fu, I think it's a wonderful clip, actually describes this guy's beliefs. Now, in that video clip, you'll notice that David Carradine says, you know, the bow and the arrow are one. Not different things, but one. And, you know, if you want, were to translate that into Forex terms, it would mean, you know, that your strategy and you are one. And that, that means by, you know, being in one with your strategy that you actually have, you know, real self-belief in it, real confidence in it, and the discipline and courage to execute it without hesitation in lots of different situations that present themselves to you, um, you know, in the Forex markets. So you are basically able to adapt to anything you see. There's nothing rigid about it at all. I'm, I'm gonna go into that concept a bit more in a moment as well. Now, in terms of um, the clip again, we saw David Carradine say, it's a puzzle. And I think that could be said about the Forex markets. They are a puzzle. You don't need to actually understand them to make money from them. You know, Forex markets, people look for order when it's not there. They look for structure. It isn't there. It, it's a human market which you actually have to interact with and respond to. You know, there's a huge amount of different situations that present themselves to you. Forex markets, um, will never fail to surprise, in my view. Um, they're just so unpredictable, but you can make money from them. Mark Douglas, um, a great writer on forex psychology, said this, you don't need to know what's going to happen to make money, and you don't. You just have to react to what you see. Now, in terms of the forex markets and forex analysis, you know, traders are, are obsessed with it. And Mark Douglas made the point that the you know, losing traders in particular are so obsessed with it because they want to find certainties. And they're looking for certainties when there aren't any certainties. And most Forex traders overcomplicate their analysis. They spend too much time on it and they look for things that are not there. In terms of trading, your analysis can be very, very simple. And yeah, once you've learnt um, you know, a simple method, it's then a question of your mindset. And you know, the one thing about you know, mindset is most people 
cannot get it, you know, the right mindset to win because they lack self-confidence. So they don't really think they can do it. They lack belief in themselves. So just want to go into the, the concept of yeah, self-confidence and getting belief. To do that, I'm just going to show another short clip. It's not, not too long at all. It's got a great quote from Mark Douglas and some timeless wisdom from Will Smith. So let's watch the quick clip and I'll be back to discuss it. Greatness is not this uh, wonderful, esoteric, elusive, uh, God-like feature that only the special among us are, will ever taste. You know, it's something that truly exists in all of us. It's very simple. This is what I believe, and I'm willing to die for it. Yeah. Period. It's that simple. I know who I am, and I know what I believe. I know who I am, I know who, what I believe. And that's all I need to know. And that's all I need to know. So from there, you do what you need to do. Yeah. You know? And I think what happens is we make the situation more complex than it has to because be. Because we're looking for complexity. There's got to be Absolutely. something complex to understand. It right? can't be that easy. No. I will come back after that short clip. Um, great quote from Mark Douglas, which I'll discuss a bit more in a moment. And also some wise words from Will Smith. Yes, it really is that simple. Most traders are beaten before they start trading by the fact they lack deep down belief and confidence in themselves. And, you know, they, they do search for that certainty, as I've said earlier. And yet that's kind of a bemusing thing to do. Let's face it, in life we face uncertainty and we deal with it. In, in Forex trading, traders can't deal with it. And you know, once you actually you know, come to that conclusion that you know, Forex markets are just really part of life and are uncertain, then it becomes a lot easier to deal with. Now, I want to return to that forex trader I mentioned earlier and made a few hundred dollars, a few hundred dollars, a few hundred million dollars, sorry. Um, yeah, he was saying to Schwager his method was incredibly simple. He sat down, he basically drained his mind of opinions, left his ego behind and tried to get in harmony with what the market was doing. And then he would just react to what he saw. That was it. And, and Schwager was saying, is that what you do? And he said, yes. And he noted a book that was his inspiration, which was called Zen in the Art of Archery. If anyone wants a copy, by the way, I've got a PDF. I can send it to you. It's really a, a great book. And it's all to do with making the shooting of the arrow natural and effortless. The shooter, the bow, the arrow, they all become one. You don't force it, you just hit the target. Now in terms of forcing, traders do this all the time. They want to overcomplicate their analysis um, and they want to basically make too much effort. They want to look at chart formations for too long and you very often see um, you know, traders who, who spend maybe half an hour or more looking at a chart deciding what to do. Well, if you have to look at a chart for half an hour, you shouldn't do anything because you haven't seen anything when you first looked at it. You know, it should only take a minute or less, really, to decide what to do. If there's nothing there, you move on to the next pair. You shouldn't be forcing. The more effort and force you put in, the more frustrated you're going to get and the less chance you're going to have of achieving success. Yeah, Mark Douglas, when he says, yeah, it's all about perfecting mental skills, it is. Now, anyone can do it. Most people just are not used to it. They're used to learning to do things in a textbook manner, like fix a computer. You do certain things, you get a guaranteed end result. That isn't Forex trading. You don't get a guaranteed end result. You have to deal with losses. And I think, you know, in terms of losses, you know, I've said it before, you just have to just keep them small, run your profits. That comes from an understanding of strategy that you have confidence in it, and discipline to apply it. Now, if I go around online, I can see, you know, just so much Forex analysis. It's textbook to me. Um, it's all overcomplicated. It's all saying to do things in the same way. And that's what all traders do, and the majority of traders lose. So you have to get away from the textbook and basically refine your edge uh, and, and basically keep it extremely simple. 
there is no merit in complicating a trading method at all and it should be totally flexible to allow you to deal with any type of setup that you see and you know despite what people say you know forex markets do repeat themselves to a degree but it is only to a degree all chart formations and setups are subtly different now in terms of yeah, Mark Douglas, if you haven't read any of his work, I would certainly recommend you go and read The Disciplined Trader. Uh, it's a wonderful book and really reinforces what it takes to achieve Forex trading success. Method and mindset need to come together and you need to sharpen those mental skills. And if you do, then you're going to become a successful forex trader. There's no question about it. But you have to spend a little bit of time doing, you know, some practice, you know, mentally. You know, it's not just something that comes right away. You need a bit of experience of dealing with the markets to, you know, really become a disciplined and confident trader. Now I'm going to go out with another video clip, and I have shown this before, and I'm going to show it again because it really, really gives you what it takes to win at Forex trading. So thank you for watching me. Take care. Have a good day. To hit a target in this manner is to exercise the inner strength. Indeed, there are two kinds of strength. The outer strength is obvious. It fades with age and succumbs to sickness. Then there is the chi, the inner strength. Everyone possesses it too, but it is indeed much more difficult to develop. The inner strength lasts through every heat and every cold, through old age and beyond.